Captain Grice is currently serving our country as an active duty soldier. She regrets not being able to join us tonight. But please join me in welcoming her father, Tom Greist, and Brigadier General Michaeline Kloster to accept on her behalf. Good evening. Good evening, and thank you for having me at this awesome event. I had no idea how cool this was going to be. I truly, truly, truly enjoy the opportunity to work with the team to produce Captain Grice's tribute video. There are many, many military women who are first in going paths not yet taken, and Kristen is still breaking those boundaries. When I learned she could not be here this evening, I was sad for the committee, but after I learned why, it made me appreciate her as an officer all the more. You see, Kristen is commanding a unit that trains daily to be the first in should a conflict or crisis arise, and she is in a position to be moving to wherever her unit may need to go in a matter of hours. Bags are already packed, equipment is at the ready, basically a situation of no prep time, always ready to go. And I know how she would feel, having been a commander myself, if she were here tonight and her unit got the call. They would go and she would not. And that would be letting her troops down. But Kristen is that officer that you're honoring here tonight. Not only is she a first, but she's doing exactly what American people need her to do, be with and lead her troops to protect and defend our country at a moment's notice. But as a consolation prize, we did get a thank you note from Kristen to the committee, and I'd like to read that to you right now. From Kristen, thank you, to the honor, thank you for the honor of being inducted into the Connecticut Women's Hall of Fame. I never anticipated all the attention I've received after graduating Ranger School, but I'm very grateful for the support. I regret that I could not be here tonight. However, I am still working for gender equality every day. I'm extremely proud to command Bravo Company of the 2nd of the 505th Parachute Infantry Regiment and am just focused on being the best leader I can be for my paratroopers. I would like to encourage everyone in the audience to pursue their goals no matter how improbable they seem and not be afraid to fail. The best advice I've gotten for achieving goals is to always make someone else tell me no instead of counting myself out without even trying. Just showing up is 90% of the battle, and after getting there, never quit. Thank you once again, and a special shout out to all my family and friends back in Connecticut. Rangers, lead the way. Very respectfully, Kristen M. Grice, Captain United States Army, Commander Bravo Company, 2nd of the 505th Parachute Infantry Regiment, 82nd Airborne Division, Fort Bragg, North Carolina. <laughs> So I thank you for recognizing this young officer this evening, and I also thank all the women who came before and hope those that come after are inspired and motivated by all the inductees, that they too one day can be all they can be. Thank you very much. As we say, hua. So on behalf of the Greist family, I'm, I'm Kristen's dad, in case wasn't clear already. Uh, <laughs> so, but on, on behalf of the Greist family, I'd like to add my thanks to Kristen's comments and just say that we are happy to be here and stand in for her while she has her other commitments. In addition to be on the Global Response Force, she is currently engaged in some very intense training and she is leading her company through it. While we are sitting around a great dinner in comfort, she is out in the woods. She is in the middle of nowhere, loaded down with tons of equipment, running for miles, getting no sleep. And she's loving it. <laughs> a number of people have asked me, because we somehow get pulled into these things, people come up to me and uh, say, and talking to Laura and myself, say, what did you guys do to motivate her and get her to be such a strong daughter? And I'm sure you'd all like to hear the recipe. So here goes. We have no idea. <laughs> all I can say is that my mom would tell us when we started having children, uh, always treat your children fairly. And perhaps Laura and I took that to heart. I'm sure Laura 
down here up front, her mother, has provided a great example of a professional woman that has obtained undergraduate and master's degrees in both mathematics and computer science. And she's been very successful in a male-dominated engineering field in avionics design. For my part, I just let her do what she wanted to do. <laughs> we encouraged her in sports. I took her hiking and canoeing and camping. Her brother and our extended family, some of which are here today, just knowing Kristen, never thought about telling her, you can't do that. So I guess it wasn't clear to her. In fact, anyone that gets to know Kristen has the same reaction. Basically, we just didn't get in her way. Not much of a recipe, but it worked in our case. Thank you again, and have a great evening.